Is Bryson DeChambeau a revolutionary genius changing golf for the better, or is his unconventional approach causing unnecessary controversy in the sport? Hello, golf fans. Today, we're diving into the world of Bryson DeChambeau, a figure who stirred the pot in the golfing community with his unconventional methods. From his single-length irons to his analytical mindset, let's dissect the reasons behind his controversial reputation. Stay tuned as we explore the dynamics that make Bryson a player fans love to debate. Bryson DeChambeau burst onto the golf scene with a bang, bringing a fresh perspective to the game. His scientific approach, complete with protein shakes and significant weight gain, turned heads and won him the 2020 US Open. But it's not just his victories that catch the eye, it's his unique way of playing that sparked discussions and often criticism. First up, let's address the elephant on the course, Bryson's pace of play. Known for his painstakingly slow rounds, DeChambeau takes the concept of slow and steady wins the race to a whole new level. His methodical routine from calculating wind direction to precise club selection has been a point of contention. While some admire his thoroughness, others are left frustrated by the delays. Bryson's analytical nature is central to his game. Every shot is a complex equation, factoring in variables that most players might overlook. This not only showcases his dedication, but also highlights a significant shift in how golf can be played. However, this scientific method comes at the cost of a quicker pace, leading to impatience among fans and fellow golfers alike. Despite the backlash, Bryson remains unyielding. His refusal to speed up his game, insisting he's playing within the rules, has only intensified the debate. This stubbornness, while admirable to some, continues to alienate others, making his slow play an ongoing narrative in his career. The slow play saga has undoubtedly impacted Bryson's popularity. While his skills and achievements are undeniable, the desire for more brisk gameplay resonates with many golf enthusiasts. Will Bryson adjust or will he continue to march to the beat of his own drum? Only time will tell. Let's delve into the second major critique of Bryson DeChambeau, his sense of entitlement. On the course, Bryson often appears unyielding, voicing dissatisfaction when conditions don't align with his expectations. At the 2020 PGA Championship, his frustration with the course setup was palpable, and his objection to an out-of-bounds decision at the Memorial Tournament highlighted his refusal to back down, insisting his ball was unfairly judged. DeChambeau's demeanor suggests a double standard in his approach to the game's challenges. He advocates for conditions that favor his style, yet bristles at criticism over his slow play or other contentious behaviors. This self-assuredness, rooted in his identity as a golfing scientist, conveys a belief in his methods as superior, deserving of special considerations that others might not merit. This attitude doesn't endear him to many within the golf community. His readiness to challenge officials, question the rules, and even critique course designs has strained his relationships with fans and organizers alike. Bryson's path to a more favorable public image may lie in tempering his assertive nature and adopting a more collegial approach. Moving on to the third aspect of Bryson's divisive persona, his ego and arrogance. DeChambeau has made waves with his claim to be transforming golf through scientific rigor and innovative strategies. His bold statements, like intending to make golf cool and self-identifying as a revolutionist, can come across as boastful. While confidence is crucial in sports, Bryson's self-promotion has sparked backlash, especially among those who value modesty and tradition in golf. His assertive declarations, suggesting he's single-handedly reshaping the sport, overlook the legacy of golf's pioneers. Figures like Ben Hogan, who also applied a scientific lens to golf, laid the groundwork for the analytical approaches DeChambeau champions. Bryson's narrative, while highlighting his contributions, often neglects the rich history and evolution of golf, alienating purists and aficionados. A more gracious acknowledgement of the legends upon whose shoulders he stands could soften perceptions of his arrogance, bridging the gap between innovation and respect for golf's storied past. Turning our attention to the fourth contentious point, Bryson DeChambeau's interactions with fans and the media. Bryson has made headlines not just for his play, but also for moments of perceived indifference or brusqueness. From ignoring autograph seekers to displaying impatience in press conferences, his behavior has sparked debate. This sense of entitlement, whether in brushing past fans or responding curtly to media inquiries, has ruffled feathers. While professional athletes like DeChambeau certainly have the right to personal boundaries, the manner in which they engage with fans can significantly impact their public image. Contrast this with beloved figures like Rory McIlroy, Ricky Fowler, and Jordan Spieth, whose approachability and warmth towards fans enhance their popularity. 
Bryson's perceived aloofness, whether intentional or not, has led to criticism of a disconnect with the golfing public. Efforts like enhancing his presence on digital platforms such as YouTube show a potential shift towards better fan engagement. Yet the effectiveness of these attempts remains to be seen in the long term. Next, number five, we examine a pivotal aspect of Bryson DeChambeau's golfing persona, his on-course etiquette. His approach, marked by incidents like neglecting to rake bunkers or repair divots, has drawn ire from the golf community. At the 2021 Players' Championship, his failure to rake a bunker post shot was a glaring oversight that didn't go unnoticed. Similarly, his method of assessing wind conditions at the Memorial Tournament by aggressively removing tufts of grass demonstrated a disregard for traditional golfing decorum. While Bryson's primary focus is on the analytical aspects of his game, such as precise condition analysis and shot optimization, these should not excuse the neglect of basic golfing courtesies. The seeming indifference to etiquette not only contrasts with the respectful practices of golfing legends like Jack Nicklaus, but also feeds into narratives of arrogance and a lack of respect for the sport's traditions. If Bryson aims to mend his rapport with the golfing world, acknowledging the value of traditional etiquette could be a significant step forward in reshaping his image. Diving into the sixth reason behind Bryson DeChambeau's contentious status, his stance on distance-limiting measures. DeChambeau, known for his impressive drives, has been notably reluctant to support any restrictions on equipment that could reduce his advantage off the tee. His physical transformation and commitment to maximizing club head and ball speed have redefined what's possible in terms of distance, leading to concerns over the impact on classic golf courses. While Bryson's achievements in extending the game's boundaries are remarkable, his resistance to dialing back technology has not sat well with many in the golf community. Critics argue that his approach could threaten the sport's sustainability and the cherished balance of traditional courses. A willingness to engage in dialogue about the future of golf equipment might not only address these concerns, but also improve his standing among those advocating for a more balanced approach to the game's evolution. Lastly, we touch upon the seventh and final point, Bryson DeChambeau's emotional expressiveness, or perceived lack thereof. Unlike players such as Rory McIlroy or Ricky Fowler who are known for their passionate displays, Bryson often maintains a stoic demeanor, win or lose. His analytical mindset permeates his play style and interactions, leading to a reputation as a robotic golfer. While his scientific approach to golf is undeniably effective, it has left some fans longing for a more expressive and relatable figure on the course. Emotion in sports is a powerful connector, and Bryson's reserved nature can create a barrier with those who appreciate the spirited passion that often accompanies athletic achievement. In wrapping up, Bryson DeChambeau's journey in golf is a complex narrative filled with innovation, controversy, and debate. His impact on the game is undeniable, sparking discussions on tradition, technology, and the future of golf. As we continue to watch his career unfold, Bryson remains a fascinating character in the sport, challenging norms and inspiring conversations. Thanks for joining us as we delved into the world of Bryson DeChambeau, golf's leading figure of debate. Do you think he's changing the game for better or worse? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check out our other videos profiling golf's most controversial figures. If you're intrigued by the stories shaping the golf world, Hit subscribe and stay tuned to ES Club Golf. Until next time, keep swinging.